Hey everybody, welcome back to Bethel Woods. Let's get repairing those machines. Okay, so it's Jen's turn. She's gonna grab the big group of five. And now there's a few different ways we could go with this. Obviously counterclockwise or clockwise, but there's something else to consider as well. Jen is gonna be able to make a move with these two yellows to pick up the two yellows. So she'll have three of a kind. Uh, but here's the problem. I've got two yellows. If I could pick up those two yellows, I'd get four of a kind. So I'd be in position to build the next piece. But then what will Jen do instead? Well, if she gets groups, remember, she can just discard pairs to stop the spread or slow down the spread of malfunctions. So, or Jen just goes on ahead. She picks up these two yellows, so she's got three of a kind, and she leaves the reds on the table so that now I've got uh, the potential to start building up four of a kind in red. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to grab this big group. They're starting here. We're going to drop one off in each area. We'll just go on ahead and drop Mr. Blue off here. So Jen gets her second blue. She's got a pair of blue now. And she could drop off a red, but she's leaving the reds for me. So she's going to do the yellow. And let's see here. So she wants the other yellow over here. So, oh shoot, there are so many reds here. That what that means is Jen will put a red and then a yellow and then a red and she'll end up taking one of the two reds that I was going to grab. So that kind of messes things up a little bit. All right. Oh, but what the heck? We'll go with it because I've already forgotten what I, I, you know. I'm actually, maybe I should have gone the other way because I could have put a blue over here who wouldn't have done anything, but it would have left the red so that I could pick up the red so I could get a pair. But as it is, now, I could put the red here and then the yellow, but then neither of these will pick up anything, so that's certainly not good either. She'll go there, she'll pick up another yellow, and then boom. That messed up my chances to get the red. And now, uh, so, and unfortunately a red ended, so she can't go in. That way is blocked anyway, so Jen's got yellow. So next turn, on her next turn, she's going to want to end up getting a yellow in either this area this area or this area because those are the three yellow entrances that are still available because we're getting more and more entrances cut off. Now there's something else to bear in mind as well. At the end of your turn, you have to discard down to seven. Jen's got seven, so she hasn't gone over the limit yet, but she's about to. But for now, she'll just go on ahead and draw three and we have a breakout. Hey, why is this over here? This, this is a number three. It should have been over here. That was a mistake. All right, there's a two. It built in number two and here's number at th three. And at number four. Number four can't keep. Oh, all right, so now it's my turn. And I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I can't pick up many more before I start to overflow as well. So there are two reds here. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this. Because this is a red entrance. There's a red or a yellow entrance here. And there's two reds, and there's already a red guy here. So if we end with a guy here, that one red guy will get both of these, then can go in and build number three. Can we do it, though? If I grab this group, that's one, two. I can't make it. If I grab this group, it's one, two. I can't make it. This group goes the other way, one, two. I can't do it! Oh, shoot. Right, so I cannot do the ideal thing. I cannot make my last placement be a red here to pick up these two reds, which would then give me, um, well, that would give me three to be able to do that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So, but I still can pick up these reds. I could just say I could go here and I could drop off a red. I'd pick up two reds and then a yellow would go over there. That wouldn't do much. Um, or I could leave them there. Hopefully, um, you know, don't, don't break down. Or I could come over here with a green. Oh, there's only one green um, because he's all the way over there. Because this green is already here. So this green can't make it. So I can't get the green. So here's the choice I got to make. Things are starting to get tougher. Do I leave this alone? Do I go on ahead? Well, let's see. Maybe I just go on ahead and I drop off the red. So I have three of a kind with red. Um, and then once I get one more red, I can do the next step for number four. Will Jen be able? And in the meantime, Jen will be able to do number three. Yeah, I can think that's what it's going to be. So on my turn, I'm going to pick these up. I'm going to drop off red. That's two reds in this area to take care of these two red malfunctions. And now I've gone over my limit. I'm going to have to discard. And yellow comes over here who can't do anything. There's nothing for him to do there. And so now three more are going to show up. And it's uh, back here in space number one. And space number one. And space number four. Phew, it's a good thing I was there or else we would have had an outbreak or, you know, a, a critical malfunction. And now at the end of my turn, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, wait, no, I have exactly seven. 
Phew, I don't have to discard anything yet. All right, Jen's turn. Now, she's going to get the next piece built. She's going to grab this little group and drop off Blue, who's lonely. That's why he's so blue. And coming over here, Mr. Yellow also can't do any repair, but he has come not to repair, but to build. He's going into the building, taking this three knowledge. And by the way, all the knowledge we're using for building, this is all getting removed from the game. This stack of... Breakdown slash knowledge tiles is a timer. When these run out, we lose. Also, we lose if all six spies are on the board, and we also lose if four of the machines are in critical break meltdown. Uh, so any of those things make us lose. The only thing we can win is, again, we've got this time. We've got to beat the clock. we got to get the machine built. So anyway, so Jen moved in, and she has built number three. We are halfway there. But we've also lost, uh, what is it, a quarter of our workforce and, um, yeah, and half of our entrances to that building. So things are only going to get tougher from here on out. So it's Jen's turn again. Or no, it's the end of her turn. Now, she's going to have to draw three. Remember, she could discard these two matching blues to only have to draw one malfunction. But I don't think she's going to because you can see there's a lot of blue out there. She could potentially go for a four or five of a kind. And there is still one, two blue entrances. So Jen's our best shot at getting the next one done. So she's not going to throw any of those away on her special power. So she's going to draw three. And it's number four again. We are just barely ahead of the curve. Number six. So that's, and where else? Number five. Oh my gosh. I can't, I, we have not been this lucky in the past, folks. I'm telling you. So now it is my turn. And I need four of a kind. If I pick up one more red, but there are no red malfunctions any place. One of these kids' special power is to actually transfer knowledge from one to another, but otherwise we can't do it. So Jen can't give me this red. to, And so I'm going to have to put this red on hold for a while. However, there are two yellows. Ooh, there are two yellows. And then I'd have four yellows to be able to build that. Um, but I would have to make sure that a yellow ends up either in this space or this space to go in. That'd have to be my last move. I've got these four. That's one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I can do it. Let's totally do it. So let's go on ahead and pick up this group. Oh, but my problem is there's only one yellow here. So if I drop the yellow off here to get, I can't get the other one and I can't drop a yellow. I would have to have three yellows in this group to get the yellow done. So I can't do it. I cannot get anything built this turn. And the other, whatever I pick up, I'm going to go over the top. I'm going to have to start discarding things. Ooh, that is particularly bad. Mm. I'm literally just going to have to throw pieces away. So, I probably don't want to do a big... I don't want to do a big move that's just going to... What I want to do is, is a move that doesn't pick me up any stuff because I'm just going to have to discard. Instead, I want to do a move that just sets Jen up on her turn to be able to do something better. Let's see... So, for instance, I would like to get um, blue guys together so that Jen can collect multiple blues. Um, so, for instance, I could pick this group up and I could drop a yellow off here who won't give me any stuff, so I want to discard, and then a blue over here who won't give me stuff. Then there's two blues, so Jen could use these guys to potentially pick up a blue, and if another blue pick shows up there. So we could do something like that. Or we could go the other way to drop a blue back off here and then there um, so that Jen can start collecting more blues. Oh. Now, the other thing is, if I pick something up, uh, if I pick one thing up, I'll just have to discard. I'll probably discard this lone green because, well, a single green isn't going to do very well. Although there's so many greens to pick up. If I pick up a bunch of greens and there's still one, um, no, actually, this is a blue entrance. So there's only one opportunity left on the board for using green. So green is implicitly less valuable, which is a pain because there's so much green out there. Oh, what to do? Okay, yeah. So this is where the... And plus, we've got one, two, three machines that are on the cusp of breaking down. If any of them break down, that's going to start making our lives miserable too. So do I blow a turn to set up Jen for a better turn? Or do I take some stuff to keep the machines under control, but start throwing stuff away? I think that's what I have to do. I got I to... Gotta, I gotta, Plus, if I start collecting greens, I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to end up throwing away this blue because Jen's trying to collect blue. I can't give this to her, so it's not like I'm going to want to collect more blue. So that's fine. So what am I going to do? Well, I'd like to start picking up some of these greens then because if I can hit either of these, that helps out. So that means I could use this group and go one, two, three, four and pick up a green over there and a gr No, but I only have one green. And I could pick up a yellow. Let's go with that. Okay, come on, group. Come on, gang. Let's go. So uh, we will drop off a yellow here. 
And then we will drop off a red here who doesn't do much of anything. And then a green over here. Oh, and that picks up two greens. So I'm way over my limit. And then a uh, red over here doesn't anything. But that's good because I didn't want to take any blues because I want Jen to be able to collect the blues. All right. And so now three more are going to appear in the world. And it's oh, I just saved us from number one blowing. Although it's back on again. And number five. This is amazing that we haven't had a single blow so far. And I've got way too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got to throw three chips away. And they're not going back into the pile. They're removed from the game. So again, the timer is ticking. One. Oh, man, I don't want to throw away three of a kind of any. <sighs> well, see, I keep the greens because there's a lot of greens out. Do I keep um, two yellows or two reds? There's a yellow and there's a red out. Jen's already got some red. So all things being equal, I should probably throw away the reds and let her have the reds and keep the yellows to myself. So I'll toss two reds. Oh, and I'm using them for nothing. Oh, that's super duper painful. Okay, so there we go. Um, and now it's Jen's turn. And so she can go back to picking up blues. Uh, let's see, how is she going to do that? Without picking up greens or yellows, because that's what I want to pick up. And let's see, where's the best place? What, what could she do the best towards this? She could drop a yellow off here and then a blue off there. But that yellow won't do anything. She could come over here and drop a yellow. Oh, yeah, she'll go this way. Oh, but again, I've got yellows. Jen doesn't want to collect yellows. She wants to let me collect yellows. So it doesn't do her any good to collect that yellow. So I think she'll go this way instead and drop off a yellow who does nothing and a blue who gets Jen her, set, her third blue. All right. And, um, right, so that's the end of her turn. So we're going to... And again, Jen could toss two of these to have less stuff come out, but... Right now, we're too, we're too intent on getting these machines built. So, all right, uh, number two, no problem. And number five, no whoop, no big whoop. And not number four, number six. All right, the, it, it had to happen sooner or later, folks. We've had our first critical meltdown. Now, these were randomly distributed when we started. Let's find out which one it is. Kerblooey. It is um, this one, which basically means... In the grand scheme of things, this one's not so bad. There are ones that are definitely worse. What's going to happen is this is now malfunctioning. For us to repair this, we just have to ensure that, the, right? Because if there are four or more thing, bad things in this area, it stays malfunctioning. As soon as we repair one of these, it flips back over. As long as it stays malfunctioned, if we ever draw another six chip, instead of it going here, it'll go clockwise to the next empty space. So this will start overflowing its malfunctions into the next one. So really, that's not that big a deal. But something else has happened too. Every time a malfunction happens, or it doesn't matter how many malfunctions happen on a given turn, one spy will appear. And they're queued up. This is the first one. This is the last one to appear. Let's see where he appears in area number three. And now this is a problem for area number three. He counts as a malfunction. If one more malfunction comes here, this machine is going to trip. So we've got to take him out. But we can't take him out by, you know, malfunctions are easy to fix. Spies are tough to find. They're well hidden. What you have to do is you have to end on this space and with either a green or a blue character and, um, you know, to be able to collect it. And you have to discard a green and a blue malfunction. So suddenly, now there's a spy on the board, we have other uses for the stuff we're collecting besides building the machine. We, um, you know, if a green or a blue ends here with a green and a blue chip to discard, we get rid of this spy. Otherwise, he stays here and makes this machine much more likely to blow. So it had to happen sooner or later. Things have just gotten a bit tougher. So now it is my turn. And there's a yellow out there. If I pick up this yellow, I make this malfunction go away, and I've got my four of a kind to build the next thing. Particularly, if I can end in this space, there's a yellow. That's perfect. Let's do it. I'm going to pick up this group, drop off a red. He doesn't do anything. This guy's going to drop off a yellow. Boop! Which means this machine is repaired because we don't have four bad things in the area. And at the end of the turn, he's going to move in and spend these four yellow chips to build the fourth stage of the daydreamer. We're getting closer, folks, but the closer we get, the tougher it gets. All right, so, uh, and now I don't have to, I now I want to start collecting greens, and we got to draw three more. Area five, there's a lot of red malfunctions there, a lot of electrical issues. And area four, boom. So we pause for a second, we don't draw another one. Remember, we have one more to draw after this. 
Okay, this is the one that limits our, normally our hand size is seven for chips. Now our hand size is six. That's a problem. And we draw one more and it's area two. Okay, so Jen's turn. She needs now two more blues to do number five. There's a blue here and a blue here. Uh, this is interesting though. Jen could just go one, two. This yellow won't do anything and won't repair that, but this blue could come here. That would get her a blue. And then, since Jen can't come in here because the path is blocked, Jen could spend a blue and a green. She'd have a blue and a green. And she could uncover this spy, which means he would go to the end of the, of the, uh, of the queue so that we're in less danger over here. But that means Jen's throwing away her opportunity to build this. So do we just let this guy hang out? Because Jen will be getting rid of another one, so we're okay there for the most part. She'll be um, repairing this area as well. Well, no, she won't be because she wasn't dropping a green off there. And she doesn't want to. I want to pick up greens because I've got three. I need two more and I can do number five. Although, wait a minute. No. Dun, dun, dun. Here's the other problem, folks. You're great. I could collect all kinds of greens all day long, but all the green entrances to Bethel Woods are used up. A uh, yellow or a blue can come in here, and a uh, blue or a red. So for the last two pieces, they have to be either be five of a kind red or five of a kind blue, because those are the only doors left. Yikes. Now Jen's on her way. All the more reason for Jen not to toss these blues. So what is Jen going to do then? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. She could pick up this big group and um, clear out a bunch of stuff. But then she's going to have to start discarding stuff. Although, now is the time, rather than Jen discarding stuff, particularly because we have a smaller hand size, she would start using her special power to get rid of pairs, particularly pairs we don't need, like say green pairs, to draw less stuff. So her power is going to start kicking in now. Also, Fen's special power is he is better at taking out spies. Because normally to take out a spy, you have to have the exact two tiles they need. But Fen only needs one correct tile and can use any can substitute one tile for the other one. So Fen could take this guy out with two greens, which he happens to have. He doesn't need the perfect thing. So that's an interesting element as well. Probably better off letting Fen use his spy, special spy cower, power. Um, right. Uh, see here. Da, 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 da. So if that's the case, so Jen's not going to do that. Well, he could still come over here and get the blue. She does still need the blue. But it'd be good for her to... She can do that with this big group of five. So if she's going to drop off five... Well, here's the other problem, too. We would want Fen on his turn to be able to go one, two, and get this spy. But if Jen goes this way, there'll be three here, and then Fen won't be able to, to although if there's only one here, then Jen, Fen can move the one in. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Okay, so let's figure, we're going to work reverse. We want to end up with a blue over here. We want to end up with a green over here. And then we've got these other guys. I guess we'll end up with a blue over here to collect a blue, and a green over here to collect a green. And, oh, but shoot. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. And then so the red over here to collect red. Okay, so cool. So that's it. So this guy showed up. Jen collected a green. Then this guy showed up. Jen collected a red. Then this guy showed up. Jen collected a green and repaired the machine. So we have a maximum hand size of seven. This guy showed up. Got Jen her another blue. Hooray. She's got four of the five she needs. And then this guy showed up and got rid of a red. And now Jen is way overloaded. At the end of her turn, she's going to have to discard down to seven. But before the end of her turn, she's going to use her violet power. She get, gets rid of a pair, any pair she wants. She's going to hold on to these blues. Um, she'll hold on to the reds as well because red is the, one of the colors we can still get in. Right, we could get in with a blue and a red. So Jen's going to discard two of these greens. Because remember, green doesn't help us build anyway. She's going to discard two greens so that this turn she only has to draw one malfunction, which is a yellow two. And now she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's got to discard something else. She'll discard this other green. Okay. And so that was still pretty good. That was pretty good. And so now it is my turn. And I just want to get this spy out of the way. And heck, while I'm at it, okay. So, let's see. And actually, I'm trying to remember. I know you have to end in the space where the spy is. You have to play the correct color Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you, you have to give up the correct color knowledge tiles. But do you have to 
play a correct color? Does a guy have to enter the correct color? Let me go ahead and look at this. I don't, I don't think so. On their turn, a player may uncover one spy. They place their last worker to uncover spy. The current player must discard two knowledge. Um, specific knowledge must uh, match the spy. All right, okay, yeah, so it could be anybody. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to move a single guy, just one space. That's all I'm doing, which means I collect one of these. And this guy um, is going to get rid of this spy. And normally, I'm not going to. Give, I'm just going to give up these two greens that are useless anyway. And so the spy goes to the back of the queue. Well done, Fen. And uh, Fen doesn't have to discard down any, but we're going to have to draw three more. The timer is continuing. We've got a red five standing by, and a blue six, and a yellow four. Boom, this flips again. Once again, our hand size is down, and another spy comes out. Oh, shoot. I think we're supposed to have another spy, aren't we? Yes, we are, because I've already had two malfunctions. Shoot, so okay. I'll, I'll, the, so this was the spy who came out uh, right now, which means we have another blow, but only one spy can come out per turn. So now that thing is affecting us. And here's the spy who came out earlier, and who should have come out when the second blow. Now remember, even though two have blown this turn, only one spy can come out per turn. So things are getting more dire, folks. If all the spies are on the board, we lose. If there are four critical malfunctions, we lose. Ah, I see. And so this is the malfunction. Ah, this is the malfunction that means we have to do one more. Instead of four of a kind, five of a kind here, we now need six of a kind unless we repair this first. Ah, and our hand size is fallen. Okay, so, but still, we, we, we got a chance. We got a shot at this. In fact, actually, oh, this could have been the turn that Jen could have picked up the last blue and then come in through this door, but now we need six of a kind instead of five of a kind unless we repair this. Shoot. So, Jen should come over here and repair one of these reds, which is good because it starts building up another red, but our hand size is... Okay, so Jen should repair both of these as she can and end here to get another red and repair both of these so then on her following turn she can build this. So, can she fix both of these? That means she'd need to drop a green off here and uh, uh, she can't drop a red off. She could go here to drop this green but then a blue over there. That doesn't help. <sighs> She can get both of these. Okay, yeah. She's going to go this way. She's going to drop uh, Mr. Red off. And there's two reds. So that does two repairs. Bippity bop. And that means fixed. And then another green comes over here. He's by himself, so he only repairs one. And this green's useless to her. But fixed. We fixed our hand size again. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We've got a chance. And now, Jen, she's got way too much stuff in her hand. She's going to have to discard. But, let's see, she's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But before she discards, she'll um, toss a pair to be able to only have to draw one. A pair of blues or a pair of reds. She needs both of those, though. Shoot. Shoot, and it has to be a pair. Uh, um, all right, so there's one red. There's a bunch more blues than reds out there. So there's more blues to pick up, so she's going to get rid of two blues. Okay, um, that means she's only going to have to draw one malfunction this turn, which was a blue five. So that's even more blues for her to pick up. And now she's still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's over hand size. So she'll get rid of this green. She doesn't care about that. And now it's my turn. And um, man, I need to take care of this spy because we're about to blow here again. Because if this thing flips again, then Jen, right now Jen's got enough. If she can get a red guy over here, but she can't do it because the only red guy is way over here and he needs one, two, three, or one, two, three. Oh man, so Jen can't get it done on her next turn. Oh, the puzzle's getting tougher. Okay, but even still, I should take care of this spy if I can. I've got one red, so I can get rid of a red and a green to take out that spy if this is my end space. Oh man, boy howdy. Oh wow, what to do? So tough. I don't want to pick up any reds because Jen's getting the reds. I don't want to pick up any blues because Jen's getting all the blues. And that's just um, if she's going to be our main collector. <sighs> but there's no way this red, the red has to end in this space. If I end up with two, then it would be one, two. The red won't make it. But still, I could set it up. I should probably put one guy here so that the red can work his way over. There's four here. One, two, three, four. If there were six guys here, Jen could do a full circuit and start here and end here. 
So that's a possibility. But I can only get one into this space and one into this space. So neither way, because then there's five, that's not enough. There's two, that's not enough. I cannot set Jen up to get this blue, this red done here this round. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What to do? Well, you know what? I think what to do now, folks, is to stop and say, I'm going to leave it with a cliffhanger because at this point, I need Jen to help me out. This puzzle has gotten way too tough, way too complicated. I feel like we have a chance of winning. But we're going to have to make some tough choices. Um, you know, the, the stuff, I mean, all the machines are about to break down in any second. Jen, it's not a good idea for Jen to be collecting both our fifth and our sixth piece because she's going to constantly be going overboard and having to discard. But at least if she has to discard, she gets some use out of it. I can keep the spies at bay for a little while. There's two spies out there. And, um, and try to help her as best I can. But will Bethel Woods be saved, folks? Well, to find out, you're probably going to have to back the game and, and try it out yourself. But I'm going to end it right there and say thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit the I in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes. Go to Final Thoughts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.